So, um, tonight we are live again on the Chop Paint Portugal group and on Instagram. Uh, so, hi! Uh, so what we gonna do? We gonna do some doodling of monsters. Um, I already started so you can see where we wanna go and I will show you every step. Um, I started by painting the body of the stressor in Cela V from Daydream Apothecary. Um, I'm not going to show you how to uh, paint one solid color. I think you all are able to do that yourself. Uh, we painted the front in uh, Lemon Shark from Daydream Apothecary. And then I sealed it. I sealed it because um, then uh, if, I, if I use my pencil, I can still use like a wipe, a baby wipe to, to if I draw something wrong to, to uh, erase it again. Um, so, I don't know if you know what doodling is. Doodling is like just trying whatever you want to, so you can doodle all different kinds of stuff. Um, so, uh, we have this book, for example, it's called Carvai Doodle World. And here they explain to you step by step how to draw let me see how to draw certain doodle characters and you can you can have like just doodle food or just doodle like monsters or cats or dogs or whatever you want to so there are really really a lot of uh, variations this is like snack snacks then they have hearts and they have doodle characters, I don't know what it is, it's like uh, pottery, like like little uh, plants and pots. Uh, so um, all different um, kinds of characters you could doodle. And you could also doodle like uh, geometric patterns. I already started uh, on the straw with this, so I just painted this uh, with the neons and so, uh, from Daydream Apothecary and I just put a pattern over it. I, I quite not like it yet, but uh, I think if I work on it, it will look nice <laughs> at a certain time. So uh, this is also doodling. So you could also do this, but it looks easy, but this is more complicated as the monsters. That's why I'm going to show you the monsters tonight and because they're really cute too. So um, so what I did in preparation, uh, I of course looked at this book, but this book doesn't really have a lot of monsters. So it has, it has some monsters. This is the monster page actually. Um, but I wanted to have more variations. It has a lot of food in it, um, but uh, I wanted to have more monsters so i just went online and checked uh what what i could find for doodling monsters i just googled doodling monsters and then you get pictures like this or like this and i just printed uh the pictures out where i liked certain characters so for example i like this little dinosaur here so i printed it out and if you if you uh, search a little further, um, they also have like little sheets with just expressions, and there are sheets with shapes. So you could just print those two pages out and just kind of combine the, the expressions with the shapes, and then you have your monsters. Um, you could do it all by yourself too, but. Uh, I think it's really hard to always think of something different on, on a different expression, on a different shape. Um, I tend to do always the same and we want to have a lot of different shapes, a lot of different expressions on the monsters. So this is like perfect. So um, yeah. So how I started, I said I already uh, sealed this um, and then I just took my pencil And I did draw the first um, monster on here. Uh, we gotta do the, the whale. So, um, so 
So just kind of And the, 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 the really great thing with this is you cannot really do anything wrong because it's monsters. And even if, if, if it's not straight or you did something unintentionally not the way it's supposed to be, it's not a problem. Because it's monsters and they can look funny. So, um, this is what I really like about this. So, so and there we have the, the whale. Um, I don't really have uh, any expression for it yet. I just would leave it like this and add that later. So um, I don't know if he's going to be angry or whatever. So um, what else? I, I, I kind of just look at my papers and if I find something I like. Oh, and here you can also have just doodle foods. And if you search further, you can find doodle examples for foods. This would be really nice, like in a kitchen or something like that. So, um, yeah. So now I'm just going to do the alien because I think this one is really cute too. So we, we're just going to do the, the ship. And if you if you draw something wrong, you just can take a baby wipe and erase it a little bit. And this is just like the first outlining. So we gotta put color over that so it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I'm not gonna draw the alien in here yet because um, I will do that later because we we gonna uh, put some ground control on it like we did here. Uh, and then I will do the details. So um, now we did the little alien ship. What else can we do? I don't know. Let's do this one. It looks like a broccoli. I don't know. So and always try to to put them next to each other, behind each other, in front of each other. So um, not everyone is standing alone. Uh, yeah, so so this would be the next shape. Um, let's do the bunny. Um, and maybe we do the bunny upside down. I, I really did that with uh, with that little monster. I think uh, it's it's a cute variation you can do. So just the head and the ears. So now I have like three big monsters and now I will put some smaller monsters in the spaces in between. Um, let's look at the next page. What else can we do? We could do like just like a little uh, like a triangle. And then we could do like a cup.
or we could do uh, I think it's a cactus Maybe we give him like a round mouth right here. Then it looks like a duck a little bit. Okay. Let's do something more here. Maybe we could do a, a cloud. Clouds are really nice to fill in spaces. So... Okay. And I think we already have enough. Maybe uh, like a heart shape right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take the ground control. Um. Yeah, could you please say again which paints did we okay. use? Okay, um, you can see them up here. So for the body, we use Cella V, and for the front, we use Lemon Shark. And we painted it in one solid color. And uh, I already sealed it because then drying on it is easier. So if you if you do something wrong, you can still take like a baby wipe and uh, wipe it back. Um, if it's just the paint, uh, you wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, so it's nicer to work on it this way. Um, and now I'm going to use Crown Control, which is the white. Um, it's a pure white. So you can see. Um, by Daytree Apothecary. And I will just kind of uh, draw out the monsters. So... They don't have any details, it's just the shapes yet. So and what I would do is just go in and make them white. And if you don't put it on too thick, you can still see that there's a line um, between the duck and the whale. And so you still see some of the details. Um, if you put it on too heavy, you wouldn't see it because the coverage is really, really, really good. But uh, yeah, it's monsters, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I, I didn't put it on that heavy, as you can see here. I can still see some of the details I already draw on there. Um, so now you just kind of fill it out with white. Um, and what we're going to do is we, we're going to leave most of them black and white. And we will just have some with, with neons. Um, not all of them, because I did, don't want it too, too, too much neons. Would be too colorless. We just want a few to stick out of the mess. So, um, yeah. If you would do all in neons, it would be, I guess, too busy. And it would take forever, too, because uh, it's, it's an extra step of work. And, yeah. So this is like kind of, you have to have a little bit of patience to do that, patience to do that, but yeah, it's, it's like a therapy. So uh, you can just sit there and draw, think about the world, what you're going to cook tonight, I don't know, which monster would you be? And you can, of course, uh, those colors are, are just what we choose. You could do the body in red and the font in white, or you could do just black and white. You can variate the colors, of course, um, how they, uh, how you like it or how they would fit uh, into your um, apartment or whatever. So... I think 
this is really nice for a child room too, but then you have to be careful not to make them too scary. Um, so I have a friend of mine, she she uh, bought a wallpaper with with those doodle with doodle monsters on it and she put it in her youngest boy's room and he refused to sleep in his room. So You can make them friendly faces and then they don't look scary anymore. So just smiling faces. I was laughing. Uh, Helena Rose that, uh, wrote that uh, also she would love it in her room. In what? She would love it in her room. <laughs> you say that the child of your friends uh, refused to sleep. Yeah, yeah. But that one, so. <clears throat> yeah, but he was still, still kindergarten, so he was really little. And, uh, yeah. And you, you don't have to do monsters. I saw doodles with just cats or uh, with just dogs or, uh, yeah, like I said, food or uh, flowers. So, uh, there are a lot, if you Google that, uh, what you can do on variations. Um, you could even combine it. So, like, for example, this one, this is not going to be a monster. It's, it's going to be uh, a donut. And I just draw there because of Alp, because he's always eating. And um, he asked me uh, if you want to go out to eat. And then I started trying a donut. So uh, you can put, you know, the, the, the more variations you have in there, the, the, the in more interesting it's going to be later to look at it, uh, because there will always be something people can explore which they didn't see before. Um, what else? So this this uh, dresser? Is it a dresser? I don't know. It's like an old music box. Yeah, so it's, it's a music box. Uh, it's it's box, from so Kornish. It used to have like a Schallplattenspieler? Uh, Record player. player. Cold player. Yeah. yeah. In it. And this would be the part where the loudspeakers would be. Um, and uh, the, 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 the equipment, of course, is not working anymore, so they build it out and throw it away and just use it as a um, normal dresser or sideboard. And so, like a cabinet. So we have this cabinet. like forever. <clears throat> we got that like a year ago, and it's just sitting in our uh, storage space forever. And I have like a million billion ideas what to do with it. And yeah, this finally won. So. And as you can see, if it's trying, it's it's really good coverage. So you could go over it a second time if you if you want it really, really white and shiny. Um, but as you will draw a lot of details on that, um, this is enough. So I, I didn't go over it a second time. Um, but you can do that if you want to. But then you just have to be careful not to put too many details on there because you won't see them anymore. The second uh, layer, uh, the coverage will be full and then you cannot see what what face you wanted to put on there or if you already put it did put some faces on there so so we just need the heart we could do that later in mom's night out which is the neon um red by daydream apothecary But first we have to let it dry. So and you don't really need to, I, I always kind of want to draw around those details, but this is going to be white too, so I don't really need to draw around that. Just uh, 
remember where there is no no other monster behind the monster you 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 um putting your white on and then yeah so and it's it's not as uh it doesn't take as long as you would think um and the more often you do stuff like this of course you're gonna get faster in it too so i i draw a lot of patterns like for the others uh Alice dressers we selling um, they usually always have at least one pattern on them which is uh, drawn by hand so I you know I, I could have just saved the time to do that there um, so the more often you do that um, the better you get at it and of course you can so I didn't start painting that on on a piece of furniture um, I tried it on some papers. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute. Just the cloud and then I'll show you. So. <clears throat> and we, we just do that in white to kind of uh, you could you, you don't, don't even need to do it in white you could just leave it yellow and put the details on it it would look nice too it just really depends on what look you're going for so I wanted to have a, a differentiation between the background and the animals because there will be uh, places where they overlap each other and then you just have white but if there's no monster behind it it's gonna be yellow I don't know I, I just wanted that um so what i did in preparation of this i i have this book and every time i have like something i want to try i try that on paper first so this was like my first try i know it looks really wild and i was like i don't know if i can do that and then i tried some flowers and then i tried some geometric patterns and some leaves more flowers, other geometric patterns. And then I went back to the monsters again. And then, you know, with every try, it got a little bit better. And then I said, after this one, I said, okay, we can make it, we can do it. So um, this is nice if you, if you plan something in your head, just kind of, and you, you really want to draw something, just kind of try it on a piece of paper first. Um, how it would look like i didn't color it or anything but just how it would look like how you would put them together um so so you kind of know what you're doing so um we finished now everything is white we let that dry um and as we let this dry we just put this up here this is the ground control it's a really really nice nice white uh we use it uh, to prime our, our furniture. It's really, really nice if you want to have a, a white background, especially if you paint on it. So, um, what I already did, and I will show you later. So, like I said, we will have some of the little monsters which will be in neon, and other ones will just be black and white. So, I already have this one in neon and this one in neon. So we're gonna do, I don't know, one of those in neon. I will show you how to do that or maybe two. Maybe like this one. We will do the heart and this one, the wheel. Um, but now I'm just gonna put the details in. Um, you could use like a little, little brush and Major Tom, which is the black of the Atrium Apothecary. Um, or you could use a, a aquarelle permanent brush. You can buy them on Amazon. It's like a it's a permanent marker, but it's it's like a brush. So if you see, uh, it's really flexible. Um, it's really black, and I I really I work a lot with this pen. Uh, it's really really nice because you can do uh, a lot of details with it, uh, and you can do them much much better as with a brush because it's 
it's really uh small <laughs> so um Huh? Yeah, it's uh, uh, thin. It's, Sorry. it's it's really it's thin. thin. Yeah, it's it's called pentil, and I think it's it's used for lettering. So, uh, but you can you can use it on furniture. You just have to let it dry overnight uh, before you seal it. Um, so this like takes a little bit longer to dry. So now we're gonna start out with the bunny. Um, I already put a face on the bunny. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, but I see it and I will just kind of now go around the ears, so I would just outline it first. And this pen is really nice. If you push deeper, you have uh, thicker lines. If you don't push too thick, uh, you have really thin lines. And I'm really sorry if I'm in front of it once in a while. So one thing, if you do work like this, what is important, don't do it like this. You always, it's always good to have your hand um, resting somewhere because then you have more control. If you do it like this, then you have to control the whole arm. Like this, you just need to control your fingers. Um, but this means if you work, I couldn't start working here and go up because then with my hand, I would just kind of smear it around. Um, so you have to think a little bit where to start and then just go down uh, so you don't touch what you already did. So. So. Now we're going to do the inside of the ears. So and for this, I would just go back now, and because it's a bigger space, and I would just use a uh, major tom to fill it out with black. I did that here and here, for example, too. So just, and it looks like gray now, but if it's dried uh, and sealed, it's gonna be it's a true black. So it's gonna be really, really, really black. I'm sorry. Uh, I hope you can see that. And like I said, always try to rest your arm somewhere. Um, I saw people do that and they have like a stick they put on there and then they hold the stick and draw. But I'm not able to do that. It's too much uh, things I have to do at the same time. So I'm just uh, doing this this way. So this one uh, is kind of having his, eye, his eyes closed and it's a bunny so we make him bunny teeth and then right here you you hardly see it because it's all in front we have like one monster here and then we have a dog here so i'm gonna um start with outlining the monster down here And this one is sleeping, but smiling. And if you're not sure what to do, like I said, uh, as I was doing that, oh. And this is why it's nice that it's sealed. You can just wipe it away. Um, you could just look at the expressions. I don't know where are they. Here. You could just put them up and then say, okay, I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna do that one, and then you could just kind of variate it. So now we're gonna do the dog. That's his nose. We're gonna do major tom again to draw it out. Let's 
Fox's mouth. Mm -hmm. And his ears. So we will just give him like big eyes. Big eyes are always cute. And it's always nice to, to put some this is like one one thing with doodling you always put some some of the lines here and there just to give them more expressions now we're gonna do the one behind he's not smiling but he has teeth, teeth too. And I give him like those star eyes. And this is the nice thing with monsters. There are no rules. You can do whatever you want to. Like for example, this one has just one eye. Or you could do... I really like the little monsters where the eyes are. Where do we have one? Like this. So where they are um, not on the face directly. Okay, let's do this one. So this one is already uh, painted with neons. I use the um, Lala Love You. That's the pink. And I used four boys blue, which is the blue. And I just kind of blended it into each other. Uh, and that's why it's purple now, because the, the colors mixed and it turned purple. So we're going to do his, what's his turn now? His horns? Horns, yeah. And to make it a little bit more interesting, we're going to give them like stripes. And you could do all different things. You could put little funny hats on them. You could give them like little stuff like this. Or oh, this is like a dead chicken. Or sleeping chicken, whatever you want to. So there are no rules and this is really nice. So now we're going to do the eye. Black. You could also use Major Tom, but I just did it like this. And he has a little heart on his chest, so we're going to draw out the heart. His feet is here. So we give him like little monster feet. And little monster hands. And this is like where his arm would be. Okay, and that's it. 
So uh, this one is a penguin. So first of all, the penguin is not really a monster, but it's really cute. That's why I put it on there. So. That's his feet. And then that's gonna be his face. Now I'm going to use some Major Tom again because he has like a black mask. Oh, that is too wet. It's like a uh, third grade. Just draw them out. Really nice. So okay, you could do like his feet yellow if you want to. Uh, we would probably <coughs> leave it like this. Now we're gonna do his wings. And then he will have like a little belly. And now we do his eyes, and we do them really cute. We could even do some... That's it! Penguin is done. Oh, and now we come to the art part. So we have a muffin, uh, a muffin here and a donut here. So, um, let's start with the muffin. Oh, it's, it's not a muffin, it's a cupcake. I'm sorry. And I was getting something to eat. I knew it. Okay. <coughs> and there's the muffin, uh, the, the cupcake. Um, and if, if you don't I don't really have a lot of space to put a, a, a face on there, so I will just do something like this. And then it still has a little face. So, um, now we're going to do the donut. The donut is really easy. You just do a circle. And then you do a bigger circle around it and later you just do the inside a little bit dark to give it more dimension. And then... And now we're gonna do some frosting. And maybe put some sprinkles on it too. That was eating and drinking. And of course you could do it in neons. This would look really nice. But uh, like I said, we just want to have some of the monsters um, in, in neons. Now we're going to do the alien up here. 
outline first. I just have to be careful not to ruin what I already did. So I'm just gonna have a big eye. <clears throat> and I have to come back, I didn't think of that, to give him right inside of his eye. Can do that in a minute. So now I'm just gonna do the mouth. He's smiling too. Most of mine are smiling. I just like smiling things. And you can see his tears. And let's do this all black. I'm gonna use Major Tom again for the eyes because it's a really big space right here, and this is just faster. <sighs> this is the strength. So I would let this dry and then come back and do, do the inside with ground control in white. So this is dry, so we can start with the neons now. Um, we said we're going to do the heart. Uh, let's do the heart in Mom's Night Out. Uh, what is important with the neons is that you always steer them. I already did that because I already used them today. But really uh, steer them good if you haven't used them in a while. Because all the pigments will go down and uh, yeah, you want to have a good coverage. So steer them. So. Now you have to uh, just think. Uh, this is like the ear from the bunny up there, so I'm gonna leave that white. And before I uh, proceed, we should think about his eyes. What are we gonna do? I don't know. So many choices. Let's do this one. So, he will have one eye closed and the other one will be open. And he will have a smile. Okay. Because I will leave the... Uh, the eye out. I don't want to be. I don't want it to be wet, because then I would have to go back like here and do it white again. But you can do that. It's not a problem. So what I did, I did always blend some other colors in there. Let's do that here too. Um, let's do some. I wanna wanna stay in the with the reds, so I'm gonna use the La La Love You, which is the pink, and just kind of blend it in. And those colors, they they just blend perfectly. You don't really need to do anything. They they blend by themselves. Can you see that? Okay. And 
that's it. I'm gonna let that dry and then we go over that like with this monster and um, put the details on there. Oh, I'm sorry. So now we're gonna do the, the wheel. We will have it in... So we have red on there already a lot. We have blue and we have green. Can you this violet game? This one in the shrunk. So we're gonna use the hot damn violet. I don't have it here. I didn't plan to use it, but I will get it for me. Oh, I will get it. Ah, I will get it. So we will use this one. The hot and violet. So it's gonna be violet and we will use some pink, I think. Forty seven minutes? Okay. So um you can use some water, then it's easier to put the colors on there. I should tell you something, but I don't know what. We will do some blue from, from the back. But first of all, we were going to do the hot and violet up here. So the closer the colors are together, the easier it is to blend. That's why it's so easy to blend La La Love You and Mom's Night Out. Uh, it's it's much more difficult to blend um, hot and violet and soul full of sunshine, which is the neon yellow, for example, because they're not so close together. One is really light, one is really dark. So this is uh, not impossible, but it's not as easy as um, Two colors close to each other. So if you're if you're blending the first time, you should always use colors which are close to each other in the color color range. Someone is calling out. Okay, we're gonna do the bottom part in blue. Someone is calling again. So, this is the neon blue. And What is really nice here, we have a green, but I didn't use the green, I used the soul full of sunshine. So because blue and yellow, you get green. And then I just put it on the blue. So it looks like a, a neon green, but it's, it's actually a yellow up there. If it's not blending, then you can just put some water on it and then you can move it much better around. Well. 
and it is a monster so it doesn't need to be perfect okay then again i'm gonna let that dry and i take my pen and i would just do the details and i would do the faces we could do some faces um how many minutes before we stop okay nine minutes let's do like two more faces like for example we could do the angry one i think he's angry so And he just says one ear brow. Let's do the outside. I think it looks like a broccoli. Oh, and I did put a cup here. But we will just give it a face. Let's see what face we can give it. Uh, let's do something like a crazy cup. And what mouth? Mm, I need a little. Yeah. So I would just go on like this. But like I said, there are no rules. So um, you can do whatever you want to maybe let's just kind of out draw a heart because it's almost dry So it's really, really, really easy. Just funny faces in some funny shapes. Okay, I think we're done for today. So I guess you you have the 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 main concept on how to do that. Um, before sealing, if you use this pen, wait overnight or maybe two days, and don't brush over it like several times. Just go over it once, let it dry, and then seal it again. Um, this is really, or use a spray to, to seal it uh, so you don't have to brush over it too many times. And yeah, we will finish it in the next couple of days and then we will show you the picture again. Um, thanks for watching and if you have questions you can contact us. And all the paints uh, you can buy uh, at our webpage www.möbelinberlin.de Möbel in Berlin .de. and <laughs> yeah like I said if you have questions let me know and if you do something like that show us uh, what you have done we would like really like to see that so bye bye I'd say bye bye <laughs>